Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're unboxing the OnePlus 8T, which is OnePlus's newest flagship phone. It was recently announced, and so it is the successor to the 8, and it's called T because that's what OnePlus calls their second half of the year phones. And um, there's no Pro. Remember, it's a, it's a successor to the 8 and the 8 Pro, and they had a 7T and a 7T Pro and a 7 and a 7 Pro. So they, what OnePlus said is like, look, we make the Pro, it's meant to be so good that it doesn't need a second half of the year refresh. And um, I kind of get that actually, because honestly, the 7, they, they did some weird things and they've done some weird things in the past where like, like the OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro, I believe only the 7 Pro came to the United States at first. And then when they did the 7T, only the non-Pro came to the United States. And then of course the 7T Pro McLaren came later when T-Mobile launched 5G, but that's another story. So they kind of do this stuff, and so I think they just kind of said, like, you know what, we're just going to launch one phone in the second half. And I totally get it, because when we look at this phone, there's not even that much that's new over the OnePlus 8. The big things that are new, we've got 65-watt wired charging, and we've got a 120-hertz uh, display. Now, the 120-hertz display you can already find on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, and you can see I have several phones here out on my little table because there are, um, th this is, I feel like this is kind of a mix of phones. And so this is the press kit that OnePlus sends and OnePlus always sends these lovely press kits, which are just like no joke, you know? Um, so let's see what's in here. We, it says, it says hello and we'll see there's going to be a big reviewer's guide, which is. It's <laughs> no joke in itself. Like there's there's some serious production value in this reviewer's guide. Okay, so we're gonna have some cases here. We've got the um, this is the sandstone uh, the teal what a, sandstone bumper case cyan right. So um, I have one of those for the one plus eight. It's it's cool. You know sometimes it feels like it's a little bright. You know, um, and then this this case here. What's this called? This is the quantum bumper case. Which I think I'm going to be rocking this one for a little while. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is the OnePlus 8T, if I can get it out of the box. All right, and this model is going to be Lunar Silver. 12 gigs RAM, 256 gigs of storage. All right, now if we can just get this box open, we're going to have the OnePlus 8T. This, by the way, should not be the retail box that I know of. Um, we got some more stuff in here. Invitation letter for uh, probably a, an invitation to never settle. But we can just get into that <laughs> later. Uh, there's also a SIM uh, tool here. You know, I miss I miss the old ones that they used to ship. It used to actually come in a little rubber sleeve with a keychain on it. And uh, that thing was nice. Anyway, let's get to the phone because that's why we're all here, right? Uh, we also have... Oh, this is a... Ooh, oh, this is a Type-C to Type-C cable. That's new for OnePlus. Um, all their warp charging in the past has been Type-A to Type-C. So previously we had Warp Charge 30T. That was the 30-watt charging. Uh, the cable looked the same, but obviously uh, USB Type-A cable. Let's take a look at the 65-watt charger. Oh, and this has been redesigned as well. Of course, it's, it had to be somewhat redesigned because it has to have a USB Type-C port in it. And um, yeah, it's got uh, smoother edges. Uh, the other one had a flat back with uh, sharper corners and stuff like that. Now, if you take a look at the design, it's part one plus part everything else. I mean, this camera has the whole rectangle with rounded corners thing. Like we've seen that from Huawei and Samsung specifically. And um, you know, the, the square with, with rounded rectangles, uh, with rounded corners we've seen from Apple and Google as well. So, um, it th like, I feel like that's kind of a tired design. And that's that's part of the reason that I brought out some of these older phones here, right? This is the, the 6T that I've, I actually, this is the first phone that I reviewed from them. But, you know, it, it like, it was, it was definitively OnePlus. They've, they've had that look for a while. Because remember, like, they, this kind of carries over, right, to the, to the 8 Pro here. Okay, and all, but also, let's see, this, this is the, the 7 Pro and, you know, so, uh, no, I'm sorry, this is the 7 Pro, this is the 7 Pro 5G, and 
This is the eight, right? So for last year's 7T, they did something a little different. They used a round camera housing, or circular, I should say. And it's beautiful. I love it. It's somewhat unique um, because very few companies are doing this. Huawei did it with the Mate 30. Uh, Nokia did it with some old Windows phones. But it's not the common design for, for a smartphone camera. So I thought they were going to stick with this for a little while, at least on like the non-pro, because the 7T Pro uh, still had this look. And then now this year they're onto this. It's it's kind of disappointing. Uh, the 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 part about it that feels very one plus is that the lunar silver color and the matte glass. I should say a frosted glass back. Like it's still a very pretty phone. It's still very slippery. But I mean, I also miss. I mean, this was the most beautiful color that I've ever seen on a smartphone. It's called Interstellar Glow. Um, I, I said it when I reviewed the 8 series that it felt like they um, made a mistake not including this color in the 8 Pro, where the 8 Pro, we got this, you know, and there was a blue one as well. I mean, it's pretty, but I mean, this this is like a work of art, you know, so I was a little disappointed, not just a little disappointed, that, that um, I feel like the design doesn't quite stand out as much, you know, so but we do get 120 hertz display, which is super cool. And um, we do get a flat display, which is also super cool because um, that's one thing that we don't have from the 8 and the 8 Pro because these are, have curved displays where the, um, the 8 is 90 hertz and the 8 Pro is 120 hertz. All right, so this is it. This is the OnePlus 8T. Now, this is a lovely device. It starts at $749. Um, the only problem is that this, the OnePlus 8, it starts at like $599 now. So, um, and and then you could get a, a OnePlus 8 Pro for not much more than this. So, I mean, it's, it's not the first of its kind, right? We've seen that story a few times where the new one comes along and it's just an iterative improvement and the, and the old one you know, has been discounted so many times since then that, you know, it only makes sense to get the old one or something like that. And so, so like, like that's a problem that'll work itself out. So like I said, we have a 120 hertz um, OLED display here, and we'll see if we have there the nice smooth animation, which uh, is something that, that OnePlus debuted with the um, OnePlus 7 Pro. That was the first one where they actually had the... Um, the 90 hertz screen. That's where they started working on the refresh rate. And to me, that's when OnePlus started to grow up a little bit. Like if we look over here, this is the 7T and we're looking for updates there. This one had a 90 hertz display. So that, that was all about bringing that flagship feature down to the non-pro model. So we're seeing that again this year where the 8 Pro had the 120 hertz screen and, and the 8 um, the the regular 8 had a 90 hertz screen. Now the 8T uh, has a 120 hertz screen. So that's not like one of the key features of this device because, um, like I said, not not that much has changed. But uh, also that the screen is flat. If you like flat screens, that's definitely a value proposition for you. I know that the curved screens have gotten a lot of hate over the years. And remember the 7T had a flat screen too, so that was cool. Uh, one thing I love about OnePlus devices, and, I'll, and I'm going to give you a couple of things that I love, but one is this little switch right here. This little switch right here is is only otherwise seen on iPhones, to be honest. Um, you switch it, see I just switched all the way to the top, now everything's on silent. In the middle, everything's vibrate, and then if you, you put it on ring, uh, everything is, all sounds are turned on, which is awesome. It's an easy way to silence your phone when you, maybe you wanna get notifications, you don't wanna put it on do not disturb. You know, so um, so that's one thing I love. Another thing I love, oh, oh, okay, not pop-ups, but um, one thing that I love, it's called Zen Mode. Um, if we find it, it's going to be around here. There it is. So Zen Mode is a feature where it says phone down, enjoy life. And so it started out, I think this started out on the 6T. And you turn it on and it was just 20 minutes. Way to put your phone down for 20 minutes. What is this? Create a room, join a room. I don't know what that is. But um, yeah, start off with just 20 minutes. And basically, you just can't use your phone for 20 minutes. And there's a timer that's shown on the screen. You can access the camera. And I think you can make emergency calls and you can receive calls. And that's it. Uh, but that's So now you can set it up to 120 minutes. 
Uh, I think the last I saw it was 60 minutes and 120 minutes is new. So that that's cool to me because two hours is a movie. So you can sit down and watch a movie and you could get that, you know, you know, you won't be able to use your phone in that time. And let me tell you, when I say you can't use your phone, you can't use your phone. You can't even restart to get Zen mode to turn off. It's just not going to happen. So there's once you start, there is no way out of it. And it's pretty cool because when you go and you try to check Facebook or something, you just can't do it, which uh, I, I really like that. So a couple other things about this device. Um, let's see, no headphone jack, as you'd expect. Um, USB Type-C port, SIM slot. Um, the cameras, right? So we got a few few lenses here. The main sensor is 48 megapixels, the exact same sensor as the OnePlus 8 had, the main sensor, the exact same main sensor, I should say. Um, and well, most of them are the same, actually, because it's, it's got an ultra wide. There are four sensors, but not one of them is a telephoto lens. So um, what you're getting is a main, an ultra wide, you're getting a five megapixel macro lens, which um, I don't think is particularly useful, but at least it's not two megapixels anymore, right? Th those two megapixel uh, macro or depth sensors, they're useless and it's just a way for companies to say like, hey, we have an extra sensor. But there's a fourth sensor here and that's a monochrome lens and no one really knows why that's there at all. Um, so there's that. <laughs> But yeah, the key thing is the display. And I love OnePlus phones in general. That's why I pointed out a couple of the features that I just like about OnePlus because um, they have some just good common sense features. They used to be known for a very stock version of Android, and that's not really the case anymore. Oh, we do have an update over here that I'm going to have to install eventually. But um, yeah, so this is, uh, should be should be running Oxygen OS 11, which means that I can turn on an always-on display. That's one thing that's totally new is um, the ability to have an always-on display. And it's not new with this device. It's new with Oxygen OS 11. So if you have like a OnePlus 8 or something that that is getting Oxygen OS 11, you can still do that. A couple other things you go in, in here. Um, you can, by the way, ambient display. You can say always-on um, display. But um, I have I turned just turned it on. There's also you can go in you can change the refresh rate. It's still only 60 and 120 hertz. That was one thing I, I really wanted from the 8 Pro was a 90 hertz option. You know because uh, personally I, I there's not as big of a difference between 90 and 120 hertz as there is from 60 to 90. And um, obviously the higher the refresh rate, the um, the lower your battery is going to be. So um, if you like you might want that 90 hertz refresh rate just um so you still get those smooth animations but then at the same time um you're not using as much battery as you would at 120 hertz so to customize the always on display you don't actually go through the display option like you go to display and then you go to um where did i find ambient display that was on here and then you go to always on display you would think that those always on display settings are in there somewhere or somewhere in this path but no not at all actually you have to go to customizations okay so you can go to um clock style and now we have uh insight here so we can choose that and now that is should, no maybe not uh, is there an apply button somewhere save okay so now it's going to come on. There's our always on display that I, I just chose. Okay, so we, we have, there's uh, fingerprint animations as well, which have always been there. But um, yeah, that always on display is just something that's, um, it's, it's new for Oxygen OS 11. We just didn't have that before. So um, pretty cool. So I really don't think there are going to be any surprises here, right? Um, this is OnePlus 8T, right? Get a little, yeah, you can see it. It's there. Um, I, like I've, I've reviewed enough OnePlus devices. I'm familiar with Oxygen OS. Um, and it's really, um, like I reviewed the eight, I reviewed the eight pro and I keep referring to these devices and I brought these devices out for a reason because, um, like this isn't offering other than the 65 watt wired charging. This isn't offering anything that we haven't seen from other OnePlus devices, right? So th like that 120 Hertz display we got from the pro. However, there is still no wireless charging. So what you have to decide between is the wireless charging that you get in the Pro, along with uh, Warp Charge 30T, or 
warp charge 65. And remember, OnePlus does offer uh, 30 watt wireless charging with this, so it charges fast. Um, I personally would prefer the wireless charging. Per well, personally, wireless charging is, is a staple. It's a must have for me with any device, uh, so that's important. But 65 watts is gonna be super fast. I can't wait to try it out. So anyway, that's it. Um, I don't expect to be blown away by anything. I don't expect to be surprised by anything. I, I actually, I, ex I expect to know exactly what I'm getting into when I get into it. So um, that's it, guys. I'll have a review on this in a few weeks. I'm reviewing several other phones at the moment, like the um, Google Pixel 5 and um, the LG Wing. So uh, some fun stuff coming up. So stay tuned. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.